Hello party people, I'm at Trader Joe's today. I know you guys love this place almost as much as I do, maybe more, um, but it's almost Thanksgiving. Can you believe it? It's only a couple weeks away and Trader Joe's has some really cool uh, like Thanksgiving fall themed uh, treats. So I figured we would shop around together and explore, so let's go. Okay, the first end cap I see is cornbread and stuffing mix. Well, actually the first thing I saw were giant sugar pine cones, but I'll show you guys that in just a moment. Uh, cranberry sauce for $1.99. I've never had any of this stuff, so, well, that's a lie. I, I haven't had any of this stuff, but I've had some of the stuff that I'm probably going to show you. They have turkey gravy, and then some stuffing mix for $6. The turkey gravy is $1.50. Let's explore the end caps first. Turkey stuffing seasoned kettle chips. Okay, I have had these, and can I tell you, when I brought them home, Alex didn't read the bag, he just started eating them, and he said, these taste like ramen noodles. <laughs> uh, they definitely have the flavor of stuffing, but also very salty, like ramen noodles. These enormous, giant sugar pine cones, like, this is no joke. That's my hand. What? Pretty crazy. Great for decor. Also, those sunflowers, love them. I am loving that they have Brussels sprouts by the stalk. Look how fun this is. It's so much more fun than eating them like on the pack. Don't you agree? I, I agree. Am I the only one excited about this? <laughs> Some Trader Joe's pumpkin pie. That looks delicious. Spiced pumpkin cookies. Okay, pumpkin everything. Pumpkin sweet muffins. Ooh, walnut praline. That actually sounds really delicious. This apple caramel slab pie. Um, yes, for $7. Get in my belly. Looks like they only have one of these left. Maybe it's just for me. A snowflake pastry. That seems pretty fun. And for $6, can you really say no? Ooh, $20 for this bourbon barrel cake. Sounds interesting. Not really up my alley. But this is monkey bread. Oh, come on. This is one of my favorite things I've ever had in my life. Monkey bread, $6. I've shown these before, but toaster pastries. These, these are the hot cocoa kind, and I have bought these. They also have another kind. Okay, here it is. Caramel apple flavor. Oh, wait, that's granola. I don't know what other kind they had. I want to say pumpkin something, but maybe they took that off. But these are not my favorite. My kids ate them, but I did not. Back to the pies. If you are not in the mood for baking this holiday season, Trader Joe's has you covered. Pecan pie or pecan for uh, $9. This apple pie is seven. Oh my gosh, it just looks amazing, right? Dark chocolate ganache, sheet cake. I have bought this sheet cake before, the Chantelle Lays sheet cakes. It was delicious. I pretty much ate it all in one <laughs> sitting. Uh, many regrets, yes. Chocolate pecan, ooh, it's a pie bar. Oh my gosh, how can I walk away from this section? An apple cranberry tart. That is $4, $7 for the blueberry crumble pie, peach crumble pie, and apple crumble pie. All the crumble pies that your heart desires. I love that Trader Joe's offers this. It's a turkey list stuffed roast with gravy. It's vegan, of course, but they also have uncured ham, spiraled ham, all that good stuff. They also have some cranberry sauce here. I'm not a huge fan of cranberries. Ooh, cranberry orange. And that's normal cranberry sauce and cranberry permissin relish. Well, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Hmm, look at that. I think my husband would probably like this. I think I saw this on their Instagram page, brined bone-in half turkey breast. So they did all the work for you there. The breasts were $7 and the drumsticks here are $5.50. So you get to pick which one you would prefer. There it is. Better shot of it, maybe. Less lighting. <laughs> all right, here's the section I've been waiting for. It's got all of our seasonal items in one place. They've got this turkey kit, a gingerbread with candy decorations. That just looks so stinking cute. I have never seen a turkey gingerbread before. So I'm kind of really into that. Of course, the stuffing mix that we just saw. Oh, okay, so they're different. This one's cornbread stuffing mix, and they also offer a gluten-free stuffing mix. Okay, things are getting cray. I'm going to try to cover everything. This maple pecan shortbread, I've definitely had that before. It is delicious. Pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I bet that's equally delicious for $3. Uh, sugar, baking stuff. Ooh, they sell cinnamon sticks. 
Nothing beats the price at Costco, but if you don't have a membership, that's a really good price too. $2.29, and they also have ground nutmeg and pumpkin pie spice, which huh, spices are so expensive. Trader Joe's has the best spices for the least amount of money, like very inexpensive. Um, so I'm turned off, but we were talking about nuts, and they've got some peanuts and orange raisins. Oh, they also have sweetened condensed milk. I didn't know they had all of this stuff. Pure vanilla extract for nine bucks. That's a really big bottle of it for nine dollars. Maple syrup. I'll try to sneak in the prices. This section looks fun. Ginger brew. Oh, not just ginger. It's triple ginger there. Some honey crisp apple cider vinegar. Three dollars. Normal cider vinegar for the same price. They also have this carrot cake spread. It seems really interesting. I haven't had it, but I have heard a lot of people rave about this, the apple cider jam. I actually think I bought this, but Alex has not tried it yet, so I can't tell you if it's good. They also have this snowflake pasta. What a cute, cute pasta, just for $2. That's a steal at World Market or Home Goods. That would be at least twice as much. And they have some Autumn Harvest Pasta Sauce, $3.50. Some Pumpkin Bread Muffin Baking Mix, $4. That seems reasonable. They also, of course, have Canned Pumpkin. And uh, I think we saw the Bread and Muffin Mix. Okay. I love Trader Joe's. I'm just looking around, and what do I find but this? Free kittens? <laughs> like, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. But what I'm really trying to find is if they have, if they have eggnog, so let's explore. All right, some more fun stuff. Some seasonings. Everybody loves seasonings. Without them, our food would be bland. Some olive oil, some more seasonings. Like I said, Trader Joe's seasonings, they're just like you cannot beat the price of them and their quality, right? All right. Some turkey stock, interesting, and this portobello mushroom. Oh, it's condensed cream up. So instead of using the can, this is a great option. And I heard someone say they used it in their green bean casserole and left it more than normal, because I guess that has more flavor. Who knows? Who can trust them? Strangers, you know? <laughs> Pumpkin soup for $1.79. Ooh, mac and cheese? Why is that over here? 99 cents. And then the cornbread, $2.69. It's actually really good cornbread mix, just saying. Ayo, look what I found. The egg noggin. They've got light and normal. $3, which is pretty. Why is eggnog so expensive? I don't know. Do you love eggnog? I'm not a huge fan, but Alex will legit drink a gallon a day if I let him. If you need some broth, they've got you covered. Organic, free range, you know, all the good stuff that we should be doing, but don't always do. So it looks like vegetable broth and turkey stock, some turkey bone broth. Does anyone make this from scratch? Probably, not me though. Turkey stock and chicken broth. Okay, I should show you this little end cap first, but my brain goes to the Hot cocoa for 99 cents with a stirring spoon. I have to see what that is. Okay, hold on. So I showed you that soup. Oh, it looks like everything to make green bean casserole except for the green beans. Do you use fresh or canned? I think I'm gonna use fresh this year. Uh, they have french fried onions with, Eleanor eats those like chips, she loves them. And then over here they have cauliflower stuffing, which I have had, it's quite delicious. Turkey stuffing, ooh, $13, what's so great about it? I assume there's something amazing for $13. Ooh, Nantucket cran Nantucket style cranberry pie. Yes, please. I don't even like cranberries, but that looks delicious. What on earth are these? Turkey cranberry meatballs. Just all in one. Right there for $4.50. Ooh, this looks really delicious. Broccoli and cauliflower gratin. Mmm, $4. I kind of want to get that. Okay, here it is, what I was searching for. 99 cents for this. What do you do? Double chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoon. Do you just like get hot water and then stir that? That seems amazing. Um, stocking stuffer? Yes, please. Okay, they did have the apple pie here and a lot of other things, so I'm gonna see if I could find them down the frozen aisle. All right, I haven't seen these before, but maybe I just was not looking because these seem delicious. I don't even like ice cream, but I love brownies. I really like coffee too. I don't drink it, but I'll scope over the desserts because I know you guys want to see. Ooh, here is a festive dessert. Pumpkin marble mousse. That is, how much is that? Six dollars. Creme brulee tart. That seems really fancy. That is 
Well, I don't know how much it is. I don't see a price for it anywhere. I assume it's like nah, $13 or something. Okay, mini cannolis. I love that they have these. Um, you cannot beat the cost anywhere but Costco. Uh, but we're at Trader Joe's today. I'm not talking about Costco. Mini cannolis. These look divine and delicious. Again, again, I cannot find a price for it. Maybe you can peek on it. I'm not, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, who wants to go with Thanksgiving without eating cannoli? Not me. Pumpkin waffles, also something I've never seen before, but oh my gosh, those look so good. Okay, butternut squash mac and cheese. I did buy this when I did my, um, like, fall, everything fall at Trader Joe's. Anyway, I pretty much ate the entire tray. My kids weren't enjoying it as much as I was, mostly because I, they're not huge fans of mac and cheese, you know, but I don't see anything else fall related here. Yeah. So many treats, so little time. Peppermint pretzel slims. Those are $3 and oh my gosh, I don't know how I can resist Christmas stuff already, but here's some more um, treats. Ooh, marzipan stolen, like fruit, fruit cake, I think, nut and fruit. I don't know, that looks delicious. $3.69 for that. Mmm, dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojo's. Oh, candy cane Jojo's? Where am I right now? Oh gosh, I thought I just ran into someone. Uh, okay, I was not anticipating this winter wonderland of treats, so let's go through them. Firstly, this, of course I'm gonna get it. This guy is $2. Winter chocolate, reindeer, and sled kit. <gasps> marketing, it's just great marketing. Mini dark chocolate stars, and then regular dark chocolate stars. $3.99 for the dark, $2.99 for the mini mint. Peppermint bark? How big is this? $10 for this. Oh my gosh, you can either make it yourself or buy it and get a real tin with it. Seems like a deal to me. Mini gingerbread man. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are in there. I can already tell they're cute. Those are $2.99 for the mini men. I want a mini gingerbread man. It's so crowded in this aisle, I can't even explain it to you guys. Um, Multi-flavored JoJo's chocolate. What kind of what, what's in there? Chocolate sandwich cookies in robed. Oh, it's in robed with chocolate. I see. Okay, dark chocolate collection right there for seven dollars. Ooh, peppermint creams for three three dollars. Oh my gosh, soft, creamy, and minty bits. Ooh, they've got some artichokes and some balsamic glaze, but who cares about that? Let's get back to the chocolate. Minty Mallows dark chocolate. Uh, and then they have, I don't know, dark chocolate covered. So what's the difference? I'm not sure. I think they're the same price. Those look real fancy if you're looking for a gift. I don't know why these are calling my name, but I can't even pronounce that. It's German, I assume, because of the, oh yeah, German spice cookies, Hey, Those look delicious. And look at those people in the background. They're having so much fun, right? They're like, yes, when we get home, we get to have some Peppermint. <laughs> Soft lady fingers, if that's what you're into. <laughs> I love lady fingers. All right, I literally need to show you two items, but my space is being blocked for 20 minutes. All right, I weaseled my way in. Pumpkin biscotti. You guys know you want that. Made with pumpkin puree and spices. And then the last thing over here is salty honey toffee. Mm, I feel like my husband would love that. Four dollars for that. The phone, they have advent calendars for 99 cents. Obviously, I'm not expecting anything extraordinary in here. But for 99 cents, that's really cute. Their packaging is always so stinking cute. The adventure of Fearless Fox and his tangled up scarf. I am absolutely loving this. They have uh, dog treats, turkey, and cranberry recipe. That is hilarious. And then they have an advent calendar for your dog. Salmon and sweet potato dog treats are included. Oh my gosh. $6.350 for that. Okay, I'm scanning over the beauty section and I'm surprised they don't have like any candles or any, I don't know, scents or lotions or anything. Maybe they're waiting for the Christmas, the holiday season. That's my guess. Okay, this looks really pretty. I don't know anything about wine, but I'm sure that's a really good price for it. And the bottle is enormous. Oh my gosh, talk about enormous. Look at that bottle. Okay, there's a couple other Christmas advent calendar designs. This one is probably my favorite. 
It's got all these on the cover. It comes with 24 little pieces of chocolate, and then on the back it says, design your own ugly sweater. Get a little more hunting around the store. I found these 99 cent cinnamon whisks, which someone suggested would be great for the car. I thought that was a great idea. Oh wait, this is just an ivory pillar. Oh, I thought these were scented because they were in a colorful wrapping. They are not. If you need white candles, they have you. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I just want some water because I'm so thirsty. So I'm looking at their water section, right? And they've got sparkling and alkaline and all this crazy stuff. Just spring mountain water, 50 cents for this honking guy. I'm so happy. <laughs> all right, so I am done. I'm leaving Trader Joe's here and hopefully I don't get run over in this crazy parking lot. I only have a couple, it's a small haul, but I will combine it with my Costco haul that I did just a few days ago. So you'll see that all together. But thank you guys so much for shopping and hanging out with me. Oh, there's Trader Joe's and I'll see you next time. Bye.